We want Baba to arrest everybody, sue everybody. And we want everybody that have an animal bus death, all of them to be caught. Mm -hmm. That is our stand. That will be stand though. Just that Papa Diana can't know that stand. Do we share the same with others? Justice okay. for more bad guys. So, when we look at all of these things all together, and that is why sometimes I laugh, because me, I like, it's because I'm still believing that something great can happen to the case. That's why I'm still in the case. And we don't have strong evidence against Joseph Aloba that he doesn't want justice. No. But we will keep watching, keep seeing what they are doing, and keep supporting whatever we can support. But the reason why we are sensitizing the public, we have noticed a foul play. We have seen things that are not right. And we love the public so much. So we will be telling the public about all of this. The public, these are the things we see ongoing that is not right in this case. If in case this case is destroyed, no, this is the reason why it's destroyed. So this doesn't happen in the future in another case. Okay? So we were like protesting from within justice. Because we see everything not happening rightly. If I bring out all these guys now, supporting them, bring them up, let's talk about things to be done. We'll all agree. But when it comes about doing it, that is where the problem lies. Others don't care about doing it. Like we know, we care about Baba Mubat, suing Iya Mubat. We don't have issue with Baba suing Mama Mubat. We don't have issue. We want it. Baba su wumi, Baba su police, Baba su everybody. We don't have issue with that. Others we agree with you. Yes, they agree with you. But should we, should we, should we, should we, should we, should we um, pressure Baba to do it? That is what they don't care. They don't care. They don't care and the time is going. And they are so relaxed like nothing is happening. But we who understand about the time, we know that a lot is wrong. Okay. Hello, Adenike, can you hear me? Nike. Hello, Nike. Nike, hello. Nike. Okay. He has, he has reduced the volume here and he has muted us. Anyway, uh, Nike, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, hello Nike. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, keep your son off the camera because all these guys, I say keep your son off the camera before they begin to drag him into issue that doesn't concern him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know his story yet. Yes, no, he was uh, there coming in. Yeah, maybe you just off the camera so he doesn't come in because these guys, they don't know. You see, that's why, like me now, they don't know what to do. I did be they have my picture. Sorry, they, uh, they have my picture. I did be they have my information, so many things. They would have sent it to some bloggers to be dragging me. I will just wake up and see myself being dragged unnecessarily. But there's nothing they can do about me. Because the one way that they know how to frustrate people is to castigate you. Everybody who can help Joseph Aloba, they are trying to kick them out. Because they want to gain full control. And they don't see anything wrong with Baba not suing Mama. They don't. And they will never advise Baba Mubat to sue Mama. We are the ones saying so. And they are silencing us who is saying so. Because that is not what they want to do. On one hand, they will have, you see, when you see how, when I was asking this guy a question, this guy is trying to play a game whereby, you know, yeah, we call it speed is speed. If Moba didn't do the right thing, we will say Moba didn't do the right thing. Okay? If Baba didn't do the right thing, we will say Baba didn't do the right thing. Okay? But they are like slaves. They are like slaves. They don't want you to be like, enemy call, enemy call on Tigbo. Enemy call on Tigbo. Anything. That is, they are, they are so protective of their relevancy. Because you know people will drag them. And people who don't have sense. People who don't have sense are the one that will drag them. Okay? They are the one that will drag them. So, I don't know, for me, um, that 
division or no division, the structure that are in place are rather helping, is making people um, strong, okay? It's making people ideological in nature. When you go to politics, you see a lot of ideologies crafted by some persons, okay? And they push it into the stream. And before you know sudden, suddenly, it becomes the order of the day. People who can't think, they become victim of all these guys quitting idea. Like me now, I know what it means to control the narrative. It's just like, but Baba Moba did a very great job. When all of this happened, the man came out and he spoke. The man was being dragged. The man was... People were saying so many nasty things about him. Oh, look at the turnaround. Let me give him a round, a round of applause for that. The man did not sit down behind like, like Wumi and be saying that I owe Nigerians no explanation. Okay? The man was able to figure out that, ah, these Nigerians who are crying, no. That these guys, they want justice soon for my son. That is why they are crying. Why don't I approach them and explain my own truth to them? And then the man started explaining. And because indeed, truly from our heart, we want justice. We reason with his explanation. We ask questions. We ask questions. And then we say, yes. Now we can, we can, we can align with his line of thought. And then we together, we say, okay, let us fight for this thing. On the other hand, Mama Mobad, Mama Mobad, what happened? Hmm. Okay. Tell us Mama what spoke. To Mama to spoke. The speaking of Mama Mobad is also, it also reduce, it solves some problems. Hmm. In controlling the narrative, it solves some problems. Like people like me now, on some grounds, I can defend Mama Mubad because she spoke. Imagine she never talked about her own side of the story. She talked about sponsoring Mr. Joseph Aloba to 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 a, 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 a school of theology where they learned to become a pastor. That was a hard working money. Okay, she corroborated many stories that we have had half of it. But because she was able to, I mean, clear herself, that's how they do things. Now, on the other side, Wumi, okay, Wumi, when was what happened? Karima was the one that came out. Karima came out, Karima spoke, fine, Karima became free. You speak, you become free. Mama Mubad, sorry, Mama Wumi, or in fact, Wumi refused to speak. Wumi was in a conversation with Abu Ebel and Hayat, and a question was thrown directly that Wumi, that is, Hayat said, let me take water, because I, don't, I must not lose my voice. That's why I said sometimes, that's why I opened my camera to be on my bed. People don't even know the people don't know the implication of when you are alive and you come on camera and you come on camera. Let me go take water. You guys will have to excuse me.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Let me drink my water. People don't know what it means to come on camera video every day to stay hours. I mean, show your face on camera. Mm -hmm. and now I understand. Now I see how, how easy it is. I can easily be like this behind the camera and talk, 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 get other things done. But full camera, they are seeing your face, you are there, you are speaking, you are active. Man, it's not easy. Kudos. Kudos. Wumi might have been innocent in what happened to Mubad. I did think she has spoken, okay? And because, and we reason her genuinely, we see that come, this woman is speaking the truth to her. If any of us put ourselves in her shoe, okay? There are these things get the talk so like we cannot contradict it. We can't contradict it. Many of us go don't leave this case. Me, I go don't leave this case. We keep thinking that there's something hidden, there's something hidden. Because she's acting like a, she's acting like that. All of us understand how thief behave. Something lost somewhere. Okay? You see many people, they one person they shake, they shake. Who no go tell who no go that the person and thief? So, Mobat, mother has spoken, father has spoken, woman was questioned in a three-way conversation. <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> come in, come up. You will not come, you will never come up. You know, you, you will never come up. David Sam, come up, please. If you come up, you talk to me, right? You will have a different understanding. Unless maybe you are somebody, you know, disguising and just there. But believe me, if you come up and you talk to me, you'll be a changed person. The Bible says, Mark 15, 15. He who believes and has been baptized shall be saved. Come and be saved. Come and be baptized by the Holy Ghost. By the spirit of truth. Mm? The most you guys can do, I mean, is to go to platform and talk, talk, talk nonsense. Even for you guys to know that I mean well, you guys come here even, I mean, you see me, I have tolerance sometimes. You say nonsense things in the comment section. Do you think I can't block you immediately? I can now. But because, I mean, I, there's, there's no agenda yet. There is nothing I'm trying to make sure. I'm not, I'm not trying to make sure. I'm trying to pick sense. From people, and sometimes I allow the nonsense to flow to flow as well, just to see clearly. But it's not a do or that thing. What is do or that thing is to see that the public interest is intact. The public interest in this case is to get just from about, and the public must not be exploited, must not be used. As a member of the public, I represent that public interest to defend the public. I am loyal. To the Nigerian people that I so much believe in, and to every person around the world that have humanity in them. Okay, I believe in them and I stand to protect that cause. Okay, and so that is why I can talk with any one of you. You can only be in the comment section. I, you see, I don't know what you call manipulation. I'm inviting you to come up. If you come up, you will agree with me in many things. Believe me, ninety percent of what I will say, you will agree with me. If I say 10 things, right? If you have your own brain, come up, let us see whether you will not agree with me. I challenge you. But because you are somebody who is in disguise, you are not this David Sam. You are not who you say you are. You are not. You uploaded those pictures because you are a deceiver and you are a liar. Okay? If you think that you have a good mind and you can stand me, you, if you think I'm manipulating, can you come up and let us just hear you speak? Believe me, whatever you speak, me and you will agree. <laughs> we will end up agreeing. So I don't know what you call manipulation. We want the same people to be arrested, to be sent to go to jail. So what is the problem? Why are you worried? Maybe probably the only areas who may agree. We may not disagree. We will never disagree. 
believe me, there is nothing we can disagree on because we almost want the same thing. We almost want the same thing. So you are not an issue, okay? Just be, a, be your own in the comment section. I'll be protesting. I'll be doing your own thing. You are my platform, telling people not to come here, telling people you pity those that are here. But you too, you are here. Okay? Guys, let me read the comment of this guy. Maybe he doesn't know what that comment means. He said, um, I pity who stay in this platform. And he is in this platform. Who? Just imagine. You, you are here, yeah. and you pity those who are here. Are you saying you pity yourself? Because you are here too. <laughs> and if you are the Jesus, why don't you come up and save all of us? Hmm? If you are the Jesus, according to Second Corinthians 5.17, why don't you come up and save all of us? At least you are a good man now. Come and be our savior. Come and be our savior. I know I may be wrong. I may be going astray. But come and lead us to the right path. You will not. You will not. Because you walk underground. You don't like the public to hear what you have to say. Because you only like to control the public. But me, I try to put it to them to think about it. So now let's go back to the conversation before you obstructed the conversation. I know where I was. So now, Wumi was in a conversation with Hayat Abu Ebel and herself. Okay? And a question was thrown to Wumi. The guy said, Wumi, I heard that your husband was stabbed with a poisonous knife. That moment would have been the best moment for women to control to control the narrative. And whatever she says there will we, we have ground. We carry weights. Okay? Whatever she says then will carry weight. But women went silent. They are, they are telling her because they know the reason why they don't want her to talk. Because they know that if she speaks, they know if she speaks, everything will be exposed. So they are making her to not speak. Now, Wumi's mother, the mother of Wumi, I've talked about Baba, Mama, Karimo, they have spoken. Where is Wumi's mother and Wumi's father? David Sam, you are still here. You pity those who are here. I'm still seeing you here, David Sam. David Sam, oh, you see the comment to David Sam. Mm. 